sneak away by 10 or 20 car lengths. But not now. We have seven cars all challenging here. And A.J. Foyt now slingshots his way back into the lead. Foyt is lead. Baker is moving up. The challenge for second place up on turn two. We've got a wreck. Look at that. Wow. What a crash, Keith. I don't think I've ever seen one this bad. Looks like a Ford. Car number 60. I don't know how in the world the following cars managed to avoid him. One of them came well inside on the grass to avoid uh, making contact with some of the flying debris. Car number 60, Maynard Troyer, 32-year-old rookie from Spencerport, New York, flipped an incredible number of times. I have no idea how many times it was, but I think perhaps the fact that the car remained remarkably intact is quite a story in itself. Remarkable is the correct word, Keith. The car held together beautifully. The car was built by Smokey Eunuch here in Daytona Beach. It was driven in the 500 a couple of years ago by Indianapolis winner Bobby Unser, and it shed a lot of parts on its way over. We certainly hope he's all right. Troyer did stay inside the vehicle. Of course, these fellows are really strapped in there, inside the roll cage, and over the past couple of years, we have seen some remarkable survival stories come out of racing. Obviously, the leaders all hit the pits under the yellow to check with their crew chiefs to take on gas, and some of them are taking on some fresh tires. We're going to take another look at the accident coming off turn two involving Maynard Troyer's car. Here he comes down off the bank, and Keith, and the smoke is from his tires locked up. He's on the brakes. He obviously had some sort of trouble that sent him into a slide, and he hits the apron. The car starts a slow, lazy side-over-side -side roll. It looks like it's not too bad at this point, but then as it proceeds down the track, it starts to snap roll and tumble over and over and over again. Wheels and other parts fly off the car. This is one of the reasons why the side glass window has been taken out and the mesh replaced, because the glass does not get on the track. There a big piece of the car is over. Notice that the roll cage is doing its job. The top has not come down on the driver. The body, the shell is intact, and Troyer is in there, his safety straps holding him where he belongs. The roll cage in this beautifully constructed car has done its job well. All right, the green flag is up.